welcome to the Ticker Show. We're here at Watch Pro and we're here with Ian Elliott from uh, Elliott Brown Watches. And I will have a chat with him now and uh, see what the script is with his company. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Welcome to Watch Pro. Thank you very much. Can you just tell us a quick, uh, quick background of the company, please, and uh, how are you formed currently? Think of us as a, as a kind of an extreme outdoor specialist that happens to be making watches. And that's a that's a that's a fairly good synopsis. So everything everything we do has this kind of uh, ruggedized nature: shockproofing, waterproofing, dust protection, indestructible and replaceable components, so we can keep things going forever. And we're quite we're quite different in the way we test our stuff as well. So everything we make, everything you see here, has been in water at 200 meters, and that's quite that's quite unique. And it just means that we can we can know that our audience can use our watches to climb mountains and row oceans and do what they need to do and we know 100% that watch is going to survive. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so I have a question on what inspired you to start your watch company and you've got an interesting story of your sport, your, uh, your background, your pastimes and backgrounds and extreme sports basically. So how did you decide to link the two watches and the surfing and extreme sports that you do so my first business was a company called animal and that that kind of existed for me to just enjoy all of those sports so surfing snowboarding downhill mountain biking they were they they're, they're still my passions now I'm, i behave like a teenager when i get on a bike or a board and we were very lucky with that business that we were able to uh, create a range of watches and watch straps that sold very very well but very limited in what we could do because of, of the, the price the price structure within the sort of the out the specialist outdoor sector that business was sold some years ago alex was the horologist there so alex brown was the horologist and we stayed in touch as good friends and about 10 years ago actually more than that probably 13 years ago we just had that conversation imagine what we could do with a blank sheet of paper and 20 years worth of completely unique knowledge where we've seen watches go through design production sales and come back having hit pavements and salt water and sand and rocks and mud and snow and things that watches don't generally like so this is our blank sheet of paper built build something new from the ground up that's completely unique in the industry and today even 10 years later we don't have a genuine competitor that does what we do Excellent. So this is a very unique brand and a very unique think, way of thinking about watches. In the, yeah, we're engineers, and the way we the way we have, have have created the watches, we've kind of we've kind of got some distinct USPs, and and everything we make will always have those USPs, no matter which sort of pillar of the of the product ranges it sits in. So by animal, you mean animal, the one that everyone knows, that the brand yes. of the boarding yes. and the, yeah. the shorts. And yeah. the started with a Velcro watch strap. Yes. So I've always, and, th and, then we've, and then we launched watches in the mid 90s. And that was a really exciting ride. We tripled our turnover the week we launched those watches. Well, wow. we, we, so we went from about, I think we went from about 800,000 to about two and a half million, literally overnight. Wow. And when you've done that, that's really exciting, right? So watches have always had this big, big part in my heart. and. and um, <laughs> You know, Alex and I are completely different. He's a, he's a very uh, highly qualified horologist. I'm just a dude that likes sport, but I want a watch that can cope with all of those things I do. So you know, we live, we we, we have an office on the water in on the edge of the water in Pool Harbour. Um, live for my mountain bikes and uh, all the water sports, and I just want to be able to throw something on and not worry. I don't want something that has to live in a drawer. I want something that's tough enough. To, to just go and cope with everything I'm going to do and also we've discovered everything that other audiences do that are a bit more demanding than I am um, but yeah essentially it's just around a, lot of, a, a watch that fits our lifestyle. So in terms of the designs you have you're the more the, the lifestyle and the look guy and Alex is the guy who makes the machinery or I mean because you're sending yourself a bit short there I'd say. <laughs> Alex does the majority of the of the design of the of the look of the watch and then we work together to tweak it and hone it um, we, we're both fastidious is an understatement okay. right we're, we're obsessive uh, and, as you are, yes. and and you know when when you can push pixels around a screen you can do hundreds of versions of something but when you've got the one it's just got a balance and, and a correctness about it and an ease it's just easy to look at we both instantly agree there's never been an instance where we didn't agree on what looks good. Excellent chemistry, hence the, the 
what's the look of your watches then? I'd like to think so. No, they, I think they're really impressive. Thank um, you. So, Andy, would you like to ask a question? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, so, yeah, it'd be great to just dive through maybe some of the range, talk the audience through some of the pieces you have here. Yeah, but. yeah we'd love to. So a lot of our pieces have um, names and stories based around local uh, parts of Dorset. So um, there's a, there's the, the, the colourful ones in the middle uh, and the chronographs here are, are called Bloxworth. That's a village cl fairly close to where we are in, in Poole. Um, the, front, the front row are called Canford, again that's another place in Poole. The Holton, this collection on the end, uh, that comes from Holton Heath, which was a big cordite factory in the war where they made, um, I think cordite was a, was a propellant for, for munitions and, and that sort of stuff. Um, we've got Halley here, which is part of the Bloxworth range, so it's a Bloxworth, Halley is uh, Greek for ocean, um, so there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a sporting element to that. Two automatics in the middle, one with a, bra, a bronze case and one with a steel case and the blue dials. They're called Tynum. Tynum is a hill that overlooks my favourite surfing spot called Kimmeridge Bay. Um, the back of our rubber straps have got contours as breather lines from Tynum Cap, which is that hill. So there's lots of local, there's lots of local stuff yeah. in, in, in the collections. And then, and then as we grow, we kind of, we, we, we don't want to end up with too many products because it comes confusing. So we're quite specific in our, right, we've got Canford. How could Canford develop as a pillar? Yeah. If, you, if you sort of treat each one as a pillar. So Bloxworth started off with the chronographs in the corner here, and then it's developed into this, uh, what we call our heritage diver. That was something we developed during lockdown. So we wanted a, a watch that, that harked back to the, to the kind of colorful days of the dive watches in the 50s and 60s. Uh, so this is our take. So the, the, tra the, the, the strap's got a little bit of Tropic strap about it, but it's our design, it's our print. Um, the dial's a sandwich dial. It's got some texture from the strap, which is made of our logo in the middle of the dial, that sort of stuff. And so we've naturally expanded Bloxworth, and then obviously we've got this, this smaller collection yeah. that's much more feminine. Um, and that's how we tend to expand those, yeah. th those collections. So it looks a brilliant collection, and we'll definitely, for the viewers, we'll be doing some B-rolls so that will be all super close up and in detail. Right. Um, and I see what I really like, what you're mentioning here is, you know, it's not just a, a generic watch, right? There's a lot of thought behind it, there's a lot of inspiration as well from the passions what you're you know you're inspired by we, so. we think that if if we're creating something that that is potentially a, a purchase we need to it needs to have authenticity it needs to have a story because increasingly you know the, i think the market's moving away from from shiny fashion and towards something because of because of the the, the girth of, of information that's available to everybody today if you can if you can read behind something then you can form an emotional attachment with it right yeah. so so our bedrock is watches that have got their own identity their own story and then obviously we do lots of collaborations and things with authentic organizations and companies you know it might be Land Rover or it might be the RNLI or Mountain Rescue um, and no that, that's brilliant so I think to, to round up what's you know what's coming next what can we expect in 2023 Ooh, interesting. So we're launching the Beachmaster at this at this show. So this is something we've worked on for. I'll show the camera. Um, so is this your titanium? Is this titanium? No, this is this is um, ion plated stainless steel. Okay. So it's an antique bronze colour that we've had made specially for us. So it looks like bronze, but it doesn't behave like bronze. So it's very tough. It's very durable, and it won't go green. Well, that's stunning. Go green either. All right. Okay. That's but always a we're, bonus. We're not a very shiny brand. You can see from our from our collections here. Is this and one that's part, the same as that one there? It's the same colour. Yes. Yeah. The same okay. one as I'm wearing. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. And, and what we didn't want is gold. Yeah. yeah. We're not a we're not a shiny gold no, no, brand at all. Your, it's not your this makeup. is unusual. You wear it, and people ask, "What's that? Where did?" Yeah. And, they, and they want and the to know. It's very unique. Cause I, I thought titanium, but then I thought it, there's a kind of no, different so hue just, to yeah, it, so it's right? Just, yeah, just, just bronze IP. Yeah, but Very it's all nice. stainless steel. It's all three one six stainless. So, so this is our latest launch. It's called Beachmaster. You'll see it in the two cabinets at the front. And it was something that came from an idea. We were supporting some Royal Marines uh, who were doing a, a, a relay uh, event or marathon, I suppose, and they were canoeing and cycling the entire Norwegian coastline. 
And if you've ever looked at a, a, a map of Norway, it, it, it's like about 100 octopuses with their tentacles all stretched out, all joined together. It just goes like, it's crazy. Anyway, we're at their launch event and someone came up to us and said, have you ever thought about doing a mission timer? And we hadn't. We've got internal timing bezels on our Camford collection, so you've got two crowns and you can turn the inner, inner bezel. And then we've obviously got external bezels, typical diving bezels. For our viewers, a mission timer is what? How would you describe that? A mission timing is, is something that can count down to mission start. And then once, so imagine, I don't know, the D-Day landings. So everybody's, everybody's going to the beaches of Normandy and then at H hour or zero hour, everything's gonna start. And you might need to rendezvous seven hours later. That's very, very normal for a mission to have a countdown to mission start and then to have a meeting or a rendezvous. Yeah. So a mission timer does those things. So this uniquely has a mission, it has a split inner bezel that's split into two lots of 12 hours. So you've got 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, down to H, which is mission start, and then it counts up. And, you, and, and, and it can have 12 hours on each half of the bezel because we're using a GMT hand that only goes around once in 24 hours, yeah. right? So you can use the GMT hand to tell the time in a different country if you're traveling, yeah. but instantly you can turn this inner bezel to a number of hours in advance of mission start and so if you wanted four hours, you just go to four, you just point number four yeah. to the GMT hand. That will then count round in time to, to mission start. For accuracy, you can use the seconds hand and the minutes hand Fantastic. separately. And then it automatically counts up. Wow. And the yeah. unique bit is the split timing bezel with 12 hours on each side in conjunction with the GMT hand. And we, we were sure that must have been done before. Yep. We were absolutely certain the watch industry, it's so simple, someone must have done that before. And we searched and searched and we couldn't find anybody. So, so this is a unique mechanism you have It's here. totally unique and it has a patent. So it's now ours, no one can make that. Oh, brilliant. Oh, so it's so, so we yeah. patent, it's patented, we got the patent this year, okay, which is why we're launching now, because we couldn't launch before we got the patent. So that is a completely unique mission timing watch. We think the last, I'm not gonna say how many years, that the last patent was granted on a watch rather than a little component in a yeah. watch. Yes. But we think it's circa 60 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Good, good, good. Excellent. By a, by a brand beginning with an R. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. I was going to ask, is that based on another watch? But no, it's entirely... It's entirely its own You guys, so Elliot it's Brown. A, it's got an inner, an inner 24 hour track. The 24 hour hand has two references on it, two arrow references. Um, so you can you can use the inner track for 24 hour timing in a different zone and then the outer arrow is your mission timing. Obviously you can use the hour hand, the minute hand and the seconds hand for mission timing for a short a shorter period. And then you've also got an external bezel, unidirectional external bezel for diving, for, for diving yeah. and so on. Really and, the, and the really nice thing about this is this, this internal bezel took us two years to get right. If you well, turn that, it feels like a fidget toy. Oh, I want the camera to see your expression when you yeah. turn that. Because that is it's it's one of the most delightful things we've ever made. So that's ceramic that's ceramic ball bearings on little tiny springs going in and out of detents on the outside of the inner bezel that are shaped okay. yeah. perfectly to give you that click 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 click. So it locks it it locks it in position. But it's bi-directional so it, you can easily get it to where you want to start your mission. This was all done by Alex, or you have a team of people that had to do this? This is all combined ideas, and I'll just show you how the loom works on this, because this, this, is, this is quite nice as well. The, the loom bounces on these. I mean, I've just saw the, the loom so, on that before. That is, that is brilliant. That loom is excellent. This one's got bicoloured loom. Okay. So the green, the green is for normal time, and the blue is for mission timing. And this is just a regular UV light? Generator. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's just a UV torch. Yeah. It really it does light eight up. Eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. And obviously the specification of this is pretty high. It's got a uh, ceramic insert for the bezel, yeah. dome sapphire, anti-reflective crystal, triple seal crowns, compressor case back, lovely extending bracelet. It's got the bracelet as well. It clicks out and goes wow. back. So when I stick that over a wetsuit, it's literally just pull it out, click it back to wherever the wetsuit determines your, your tension. And how much is this? How much is this model? Uh, this is just under 2,400, this watch. Wow. High-grade Salita movement. Yeah. Sits in our shock protection system that we have in everything. Yeah. 
So in terms of the sum of its parts, it's a really, really good value watch. Very, very different departure for us in terms of price. Our normal price range is typically, you know, sort of five, six hundred pounds. Yeah. But really interestingly, everybody we've showed this to has sort of gone, it's about time you did this, guys. Mm. You know, Excellent. This is, yeah. So this yeah. is your higher te technology what piece in your collection? It's our highest, highest. price piece that we're launching at the show. Yeah. Yeah. And Very nice. It's patented and it's got the name. And we've got the name Beachmaster. That's a registered trademark as well. Okay, I mean that is, I find that so, stunning. Yeah, so John, do, do you want to do else? our homework? When we make something, we, yeah. we do our homework, right? Oh, that is excellent. Really well, thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure. Yeah, I've, I've fallen in love with this one because it's the... Um, well, obviously the, that's got a very different story. The military style, which can't go into, into too much detail, but it is amazing what I really do like that. And I think I might be having a, a purchase of that very soon, one so of that's these. that's called the Holton. That's the Holton, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been all over this <laughs> the last few days. Love, love that. There's a lot of its story, obviously, in our, on our site. You can read about the things about how the bezel was designed to be yeah. turned with the palm of the hand. And yeah. That's, interchangeable straps that are unbreakable and all yeah, that Yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, part of my that's, shtick, that's, this is, I definitely. I mean, all of our watches are built for hard use, but that one particularly. Yeah. You know, as we were saying earlier, we could have a game of Watch Conquers with anybody in this room and that would smash it to pieces. <laughs> Even the FXD that I haven't got on me, but I have, still. I have every confidence in the world that wow. we smash it. Wow, with titanium. It is titanium. Uh, titanium is relatively soft. Okay, <laughs> excellent. I won't, I won't, actually, since I'm out of 2021, worth, worth quite a bit. I won't be trying that, but thank you for when, the offer. When, when people come to the <laughs> office, maybe for a, for a service or something, and they leave, the, the last thing we say to them is don't look after it. Yes. So watch. No, we're, not, we're not. We're not. We're not a company that makes draw queens, as we call them. So yeah. watch conquers, guys. Not heard of that one before. Well, that could be. That could be a new sport. Watch conquers. You heard it first on the tickets so channel. Yes. <laughs> so are you available? Are you available just online? In your other uh, people? We're, we're in many retailers. Uh, we'll be on on the Goldsmiths site soon. Online and virtual store. Um, places. Yeah. There's there's a, there's a number of retailers. Uh, CW sellers. Uh, watch shop, um, so it's Dura watches, obviously, yes. and, and yeah. guys like that. Um, and uh, we, we've just picked, we just picked partners that that can tell our story and, and want to work with us because it's it, there's so many stories to tell. It's actually quite hard. Yeah. So yeah. so picking those partners that that are, that are really good at telling and them buy, is, and is, buy into is, it. Yeah. is key. Otherwise, yeah. it's not authentic. No. They want to tell your story. They go into the shop, shop and see. They want to just absolutely try it on in the shop. Story. Yeah, yeah. We're tell big, su big supporters of, of yeah. independent retail and, and multiple retail. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's been really Pleasure. great speaking to you. And you. I'll yeah, catch you again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I'll see you again soon, guys. Cheers.